four guys, three bikes and one support car. Travelling 16,000 kilometres around Australia to highlight positive environmental action. Yeah, everyone, it's Matt Coggan here from My Power. They're called My Power and they're filming their journey to bring us environmental tales from their travels. I'm Matt, joined with Marikai and Tom. Tom's going to show us around a food forest here at Gwala, north of Adelaide. Let's go check it out. The food forest shows what an average family can do on a typical income to live sustainably. The place is run by the Brookman family. The family grows 160 varieties of organically certified food using the principles of permaculture. That means things like using the landscape wisely for multiple purposes. We've also got uh, eucalypt windbreaks around a lot of our orchards, which now don't really serve as much of a purpose, but when the orchards were young they'd protect them from, uh, from wind damage, and now we just harvest those windbreaks for firewood. Using natural predators to keep away bugs and placing all the elements intelligently are other key concepts. So there's a few herbs just growing in there that we use during cooking, like lemongrass, sage, that sort of thing. Yep. It's a little dry at the moment because its water got cut off for two weeks. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean that little that little garden there could easily provide um, enough herbs for you to cook year round, depending on what you planted. Um, and I think that's something that's uh, particularly for people who are interested in permaculture in urban areas is a really important part of design is having that functional garden right next to the house. So that and I mean human beings are generally lazy creatures, so minimising the effort um, is, is a big thing in creating a functional design. Even on these little apple trees here, they got a white trunk painted on only one side. Cuts down, uh, reflects the sunlight on the, the northern sun here, just on that side of the trunk, so the plant doesn't have to battle so much with the heat on this side. It's just a good idea. Hawthorne 7-2 and Hawthorne a ticker only. Rain today. <laughs> the food forest was a very interesting experience. We learned a lot about permaculture and sustainable living while we were there and we now understand just how important permaculture is going to be in the future for Australians to start living more sustainably. 